<laughs> Shut it, Bernard. Or, um, DD. Donkey drop beans. <laughs> Ignore him, Joyce, and he's just jealous. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Gordon. What does your heart tell you, Joyce? Da, da, da. Da 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 Good man, Joyce! I like you. Name it, Joyce. The world is your oyster. That you promise you will to get angry with me during rehearsals? Well, we both have an enormous challenge ahead of us, Joyce, and all that one can ask is that one does their very best. Very well, Gordon, I do it. Two down, one to go. Right, um, once again, Margaret, it's all down to you. Well, I think I've made my decision perfectly clear. I don't like it. You're messing around with a great tradition. The only tradition that this society has upheld over the years, Margaret, is one of failure. If the audiences get any smaller, we'll have to go on a door-to-door -door tour. I mean, look what we're up against. Big budget, professional pantos with orchestras, special effects, and even actors. We can't compete with that. If we've got a cat and hell's chance of dragging them in, we've got to give them something different. Well, this is certainly different. Yes, Margaret, and proud of it. I'm fed up with the cats outnumbering the audience. I'm fed up with ex-sportsmen, pack soap opera stars, stealing all of our glory. Are we going to lie down and die? Or are we going to fight back? Come on, Margaret, let's show Bruno the knockout blow. Let's hit both of them for six. Let's show these TV stars that there's more to theatre than acting. Well? Um, it's traditional in pantomime for the male lead to be played by a female. That's true. May I assume that's the one tradition you're not ditching? You may. Does this mean we get to see her in tights? <laughs> Bernard, I'm on a very delicate stage in the negotiations. Shut your trap! Um, will I be given any editorial control over the script? You know, the usual clause, Margaret. Anything that you forget on performance night, you have my permission to leave out. <sighs> Very well. <laughs> Bravo! But I'd like my reservations minuted. Later, Joyce, later. Treat them as homework. <laughs> right, if, um, if you want to turn your eyes to the final item on the agenda, which is agreeing a date for the first rehearsal. So, come on, everybody, diaries out. Let's go through this. Now, how is everybody fixed for next Thursday? <coughs> uh, Thursday's no good for me. I've got a plastering job up in Manchester. Oh. Uh, when then? When is my short time to cast order? Well, we mustn't make you miss one of those, must we, Joyce? I would hate for you to fall behind the pace. Right, uh, how's Tuesday then? Oh, no, 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 that, uh, that's my late night, sorry, after Tuesdays. Mm. I'm all right any other Thursday. Oh, I can't make every alternative Thursday. WI meetings. <laughs> alternative Thursday, can you make them? Uh, this one coming. Well, that one's not good for Bernard, then. Eh? What about uh, the following Monday? That's the eighth. That? That's fine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Margaret. Uh, dinner party. Sorry. No. Uh, the ninth then. <laughs> no, that's a Tuesday. I can't do Tuesdays. Uh, the tenth. Wednesday, Gordon. Short time. <laughs> <laughs> the eleventh. Oh, that's one of the alternate Thursdays I can't make. But I'm all right for the following Thursday. Following <laughs> Thursday. That would be the 18th. Ah, oh, that's no good. I should do all right for another Thursday. I didn't know the 18th was a Thursday, did I? I'm just looking at weekends now. Oh, no, no. Not weekends. Brian would go spare. We have all got other lives, you know. All right, all right. So no Tuesdays, no Wednesdays, no alternate Thursdays, no weekends. How about uh, the following Monday? The, uh, the 25th. 22nd. Oh, sorry, yes. Yes, yes. The 22nd? Yes. No. No? Okay. Uh, what about uh, the 29th? Oh, I'll just be Thursday. <laughs> oh, how about the 1st, then? It's my birthday. <laughs> Cancel it. I can't. <laughs> Fine, happy bloody birthday. Come to rehearsals. Oh, I mean, Trevor is taking me out. 
You're old enough to make sacrifices here, Joyce. Well, Gordon, it's once a year. Put yourself out the one, so is the panto. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Price is averted. What about the 13th? It's a Tuesday, but I can do that one. Yes? Yes. We gone to the 13th? Yes. Hooray! Oh, shit. <laughs> Problem, Gordon? I actually can't make the 13th. It's um, Maureen's birthday. You understand, don't you, Joyce? Uh, how about the 12th, then? Uh, oh. No, sorry, that's one Monday I can't do. No. Uh, how about uh, the 15th? Yeah. Is that a Thursday? Yes, Bernard, that's Thursday. Oh, no, Grimsby. Uh, the 19th, then. No? The 26th? Uh, how about uh, the 29th? No? Uh, the 2nd? Uh, the 7th? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes we got it. 7th? Yes. Yeah. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, well, it's uh, just as well, really. That's um, it's the opening night. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we start again, don't you? Look, if it's any help, I'm available tomorrow. So am I. Yeah, I am as well. Marvellous! So we'll all meet down here at 7 o'clock, a quick read through at 8, and then I'll meet you all again here for opening night. You don't think we're in danger of peaking too early? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he can get so stroppy. Society has finally gone high-tech. This one is laser printed from my new word processor. Oh! Uh, what do you think, Margaret? Uh, my idea for the poster. Oh my god! What is it? Oh um, no, I, I don't think you should see it. Oh, What's the matter, on. Margaret? This is the title, really, Gordon. Marketing, Margaret. It's just all designed to drag them in. Has anybody seen Bernard? Show me, Margaret. No, I don't think you should see it. I mean, you're in the WI. But Margaret, if I'm going to be in it, I mean, sooner or later I'm going to find out what it's called. She has a point, you know, Margaret. Bernard! Well, you've heard of Puss in Boots? Yes. <laughs> well, and why? Puss in Booties. <laughs> no, Joyce. Bernard! I'm up here! Oh, come I, on down, we're starting! I quite like Puss in Boots. Well, it's not quite Puss in Boots, Joyce. I just needed something with a snappy title then. It's actually Dick Whittington and his cat. Oh. Uh, I just needed something with two main female roles. Uh, Margaret, you're only going to be playing Dick. And who am I playing, Gordon? Have a guess, Joyce. The cat. Astonishing, Joyce, it's pure instinct with you, isn't it? That lighting desk is a disaster. I don't mind that. Oh, I see you've already got the script I got for you. Yes, that's your script. Oh. You said I wasn't in it. It's just a small walk on part, I can assure you of that. But, but does it involve acting? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, listen, um. If we don't get something done about the lighting desk, we're, we're going to have a serious problem. All right, so crack it up from the top, shall we? He's not listening to me. I am listening to you, Bernard. But I've got more important things to worry about. I reckon the dimmers are sending too much power to the lamps. So I come up page one, Margaret and Joyce, you're both on. So, overture, lights, curtains, and let's go. <laughs> problem? You can't read, can't you? Yes, we can read. We don't understand. Well, tell me what word you're stuck at and I'll help you. Well, cats, for example. Cats? Cats, then. Cat, Margaret. I'm sorry if the odd tie did creep into it. I did do it in a rush, you know. But I'm sure if you read it in the context of the sentence, it's not so terribly difficult. Dick Wintington and his cat. It says here, Dick Whittington and Hit Cass. <laughs> what? The whole thing's riddled with mistakes, Gordon. It's not just the odd typo. Um, this, this new word processor of yours, eh? Did you get it from Brian Maynard? 
I may have done. Why? <laughs> What's so funny, Bernard? He tried that one on me. <laughs> tried what one on you? Dodgy software, mate. <laughs> he got a job last. last. <laughs> it's all right till you try and print it out, and then the T's come out as S's. Oh, and what do the S's come out as? Well, T's by the look of things. Wait until I get my hands on them. All right, all right, let's just battle through, shall we? I'm sure if you keep your wits about you, it won't be so terribly difficult. Yeah, I'll solve that for next week. Right, Margaret, your entrance. 